Welcome back to IASTEC. In this tutorial, we will learn how to disable future dates in a date picker component within an Angular application. This feature is essential for the forms where date selections need to be confined to the past or present dates only. Before we begin, make sure you have basic familiarity with Angular and TypeScript. Make sure you have Angular CLI for project setup. Let's start from this scenario where disabling future dates in native HTML date input is compulsory for you. So the use case is that you have a form where users need to enter a date such as birth date and you want to ensure they cannot select a future date. So first, let's create a form with the date input go to the app component.html and here we will add that simple form and we will add an input type text actually in the type we need to add the type date so that we could show the native calendar then add max attribute to it and then pass the property max date we will define this property now in our app.component.ts file so right now by default it would be a string and it would stay an empty string and now i will define a constructor within that constructor we will get the create the date object okay now we will set this dot max date is equal to today dot to iso string dot splice so we will split it from t and get uh, the first part of that string and save it in the max state okay now let's give it a try actually let me add a padding around it okay so you can see that all of the future dates are disabled i will show you without this property as well so if you just remove this attribute then by default all of the dates are clickable and selectable but if you add it back then you will notice that you are not able to select any future date so this code sets the max attribute of the date input to today's date the date object is converted to a string in the format year month and date which is suitable for the max attribute so for example for the max attribute you must have to pass this kind of format let's uh, discuss the second scenario using a third party date picker library so the use case is that if you are using a third party date picker like angular material you might need a different approach so first of all let's install angular material in your project and set up the date picker module for the install uh, installation and use so let's install ng add angular slash material just press y all right let us pick a theme all right angular material has been installed in our app.component.ts file let's import some modules like mat form module let us import it as well mat form field module also we need to add the date picker module as well okay now let's add the tags in our html i will just get rid of that let's add mat form field and within that i will add mat label choose a date and then let's add input mat input actually we need to import another module that is mat input module now you will see the suggestions as well whenever you are typing in your input okay now let's add a directive mat date picker and give it a picker next we need to add the mat picker filter and give it a property that we will define shortly all right now let's add mat date picker toggle and mat suffix for picker okay we have added the toggle next we need to add a, an actual mat date picker and we will add a template reference variable to it picker like this so we made a mistake here as well actually i missed the double code here that's why there were errors so now we are ready to create our filters so let's go to the component ts file and here i will simply add filter dates is equal to a function and the function will receive a date object in the parameter and the response the return type would be boolean and here we get const today is equal to new date and here we'll return that d is less than or equal to 
today okay now let's give it a try reload it save the html as well actually here we should add our so date can be null or date and here we need to check that if date is null then return false otherwise use the boolean and now there is no error in the html and now let's give it a try so we have this error that uh, must import one of the following modules at your application mat native date module mat date for fns module and so on so let's try this one mat native one all right uh, okay the error has gone and you can see the angular material field is visible and click on that you can see that we are able to select all of the dates in the past are present but we cannot select the dates in the future so if you just remove that filter directive then you will be able to select all of the dates but if you add it back then you will notice that you are unable to select the future dates so in this code we use the mat date picker filter directive to provide a function that filters out dates this function returns true for dates up to and including today effectively disabling future dates so disabling future dates in a date picker in angular is a useful feature for many applications whether you are using the native html date input or third party library angular provides the flexibility to implement this functionality with ace i hope that this video was useful for you please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my future upcoming videos also please like share and comment this video if you have any questions or if you have any feedback thanks for watching see you next time goodbye